Hi all, we're going to do a quick demonstration of the Fidey print. So the first thing you'll see here is that uh, it's loading. Uh, once we actually load in, you'll see that uh, we don't have anything to hold, so our X and Y are going to be off. You can still move the handles, you can still move around on the grid, but uh, it's not exactly accurate until you're home. So we'll go ahead and home here by clicking the X and the Y. You can also click the All button and it'll home everything including the Z and change all those to white. Once the Z finishes homing, we'll go ahead and drop the Z down a bit so that you can see the, uh, the actual print head move in sequence with the UI. So, here we go. Click over here and you'll see that it's a little bit sluggish on the UI right now because we're recording at the same time, but um, we are actually moving. Uh, roughly the same time. So we'll go ahead and home everything. We'll get a print going. Let's bring up the makeable keychain that we have here. So we actually show all the paths as we're uh, about to print. And we've already set the temperatures. We kind of warmed it up to make things go faster. We'll hit the play button and a shader comes down so you can't really toggle any of the buttons or change anything while it's printing. Uh, we will be having more features where you can do some changes on the fly, but for right now you don't need to drop the Z or the E while you're in the middle of a print. Uh, as a print starts, uh, typically it'll wait for it to get up to temperature, uh, as well as both the hotbed and the hot end. Uh, we went ahead and preheated uh, preheated for brevity. And you'll notice here that the UI now updates itself because we've already fed these commands into the system or into the printer. Uh, you'll see that the both the temperature and the progress have updated a little bit because we've gotten some feedback. Uh, it's all real-time feedback from the printer, not guesstimations. And as we start doing more movements, you'll see that we are updating the path as well as the handles. And then over here you'll see that we have the status indicator of how much we've completed and the temperature updates as well. And those are all updated in real time as things change. And so what we'll do here is we'll let the uh, we'll speed things up and let the print finish and uh, we'll see how it goes from there. Right, we're just about to the end, and uh, once it's complete, the shader will lift up and uh, things will reset back to normal so that you're ready for your next print. Um, this is just a next version of our beta, and we'll have more coming out soon. Right, thanks.